Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. Normally, you'd see me in my role on my show Hot Bench, but tonight I'm here as a member of the National Executive Board for the Boy Scouts of America. For more than 100 years, the Boy Scouts of America has been the premier youth serving organization in the country. Of course, girls have been in this program for a very long time, but in 2019, Scouts BSA made the wise decision to allow young women into its ranks, allowing them to hit the trail to Eagle. And yes, you responded magnificently. The theme of our event tonight is Be the Change. What that means for me is that if there's something that's problematic, if there's a situation that I think I need to change or make an impact on, I can't just complain about it. I've got to step up and try to do something. That's what this organization trains all of you to do. Our, our country needs young people who will abide by the scout oath and law more than ever. Our country needs you, each of you, to be the change. And given the dedication and commitment that you've shown here, I have no doubt that you are well on your way. I am so proud of you. I am proud of your commitment. I'm proud of your perseverance. I'm proud of the fact that not only have you all made history, but you're stepping forward to be the change that we all need. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Well said, and now we have Tanya here live from the West Coast. Thank you so much for, for being here. And also thank you for being part of the, the National Executive Board. That's a volunteer role and you're, and you're giving up your time to give back to scouting. So just thank you all around. It is an honor for me. And once again, congratulations to all of the new Eagles. I, I am so proud. I'm not just proud of you, but I'm proud to be here and really honored, honored uh, to be celebrating this with you this evening. So while we have you here, I'd love to ask you a couple of questions because you have such an inspiring story. And, you know, I, I looked up the latest numbers and I think it's something like one in three lawyers are women. And so I know that's improved since you started your own legal career, but we still have a long way to go in that profession and so many others like we've heard tonight. So what obstacles did, did you face when you were starting out in the legal career and, and how did you overcome those? You know, so much of what some of the other guests spoke about tonight is applicable for all of us. You know, it's applicable for young lawyers. There were times when I walked into a room and maybe people didn't think I was a lawyer. There may have been uh, occasions where people didn't think I was smart enough or good enough, or maybe that I didn't belong at the table. But what I had to remember and what I encourage each of you out there to remember is that we have, being the change, means that you've got to remember to take your place at the table, move the ball forward. You know, just like there were people who came before me who didn't have anywhere near the opportunities that I have. Uh, there are people who are going to come after me and there are a bunch of you out there right now who are going to make the world even better. So really my advice is you can't let anybody else tell you no. You can't let anybody else define you. You can't let anybody else set the rules for you or limit you. You have to do it. You know, it's not just about making history, but it's about pushing the ball forward in the same way that I did and the, the women, you know, my mother grew up in Jim Crow, Mississippi and the life that she lived and that my grandmother lived as African-American women in the Jim Crow South is so different from the opportunity that I have. So just like I don't wanna squander the beautiful opportunities that I have, I know that all of you out there, uh, especially imbued with scouting principles and the ethics and the values that you learn here, you're also going to make the best use of the opportunities that you have, regardless of the obstacles. And you're really, you know, living the living the example of uh, being a, a change and and doing good in your community. I know you've you've given back, traveling to Haiti to volunteer at orphanages, and we talked about serving on BSA boards. Why is it important to you to to give back? And obviously, you have such a busy schedule, but you make time to do that. What? Why is that? 
Well, you know, I think one of uh, our new eagles said it better than I can, I, and I'm paraphrasing her, but we only have uh, one shot here right now. We've got one planet, we've got one community of people, and we've got one opportunity, frankly, in our lifetimes to make the best opportunity and the best use uh, of it that we can. Life is a gift. Uh, living in this great country is a gift and being imbued with opportunities and being a part of a community where you can share your gifts and pay it forward uh, is really a privilege. And frankly, if we all take use of the privileges or make use of the privileges uh, that we all have, uh, we'll do much, much better to make the world a better place for those who frankly aren't as blessed or as fortunate as we are. It's all about helping people solve problems, which is a big part of the, the legal your legal career is, is helping people solve problems even on hot bench really when you boil it down you got people with a problem and you're you're finding a solution for them right talking it out so um the young people watching tonight um i'd love to hear your advice for how they might solve problems uh, once they identify something that that needs to be done you know what's so wonderful about the young people who are a part of this organization is that uh, you are being trained and have learned such an ethical way to approach conflict and to approach problems. You know, we all are going to see different parts in, of the world differently. We're going to see different problems differently. But one thing that we all have in common is a respect for one another and a value. We value our community and we value all of the humans in our community. And so if you see a problem, the first thing that you have to do is to understand it. You know, you recognize the fact that there are gonna pe be people who may see the problem very differently than you. They may not even think it's a problem, but the way to move forward is to appreciate the opposition, see what you can do to build a bridge and then learn how to move forward respectfully and as gracefully as you can, but also with the focus and the seriousness that addressing anything you want to change is going to need to be. You know, you're going to have, you're going to face problems sometimes and you're going to face opposition when you try to solve them. Uh, making a caricature of your opposition, being disrespectful, not understanding uh, who, who the other side is, none of that's helpful. But frankly, that's not what we do. That's not what we're supposed to do as scouts. So this community of change makers is not just going to make change, but you are a community of problem solvers and you will do it respectfully and ethically. And I'm just, I'm proud of everything that you've done so far. Man, what a great message, especially for this moment where people, you know, the, the, the temperature is, is, is rising, you know, in, in the political realm and people really need to know how to work together by reaching across those bridges, like you said, I love that. So um, finally, I'd, I'd love if you have any parting words to give our inaugural class um, and, and I'll let you have the, the last word on anything you want to share with them. Uh, once again, I'm honored to be here. I couldn't be more proud of you. And you know what? Remember, you have accomplished something so incredible, all of you. You have achieved this goal, but remember this, it's just the beginning. You have now set yourselves apart as part of a community of people who are dedicated to the country, who are dedicated to their communities, and who are going to move forward in life ethically and with respect for themselves and for their communities. I believe in you. You are the future. I'm so proud of you. And thank you. Thank you for letting me be here. And thank you for what you've done for all of us. You've given us all so much hope and inspiration tonight. Well said. Tanya Acker of Hot Bench and the BSA's National Executive Board, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. Good luck, everyone.